you saying about me? I'm not saying huh? anything, mate. We're starting no, trouble. No, 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 no. We're to knock you out. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, I think no, you no. do, mate. No, no. Boom, boom, So, so the point. <laughs> so, I know. So the point is always this, right? I get a lot of people saying that I'm going to make space, and what I wanted to talk about today is space invasion. When you're in a situation which is a confrontation with a person, one of the things that's likely to happen is the guy's going to invade your space. Now you've got two options. The obvious option is that you hold your ground. What you do, what you do essentially is as he comes into you, you actually try to hold your ground as much as you can. Now, me being a good person, I don't know about you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can see how he is right gets in my face look you know the point of what i'm trying to say is you'll often watch a lot of fights and you'll see people walking backwards walking backwards walking backwards at some point in time you've got to stop and hold your ground because if you keep walking backwards where are you going to end up in a corner in a corner or with your back against a car if you're in a big space i don't know a bar you know a nightclub or whatever you could end up with your back against the bar or against other people whatever it is you know you've got to at some point in time hold your ground and stop the space invasion stop the guy from getting in your space now yes you can put your hands up and you can say okay this is my fence so i'm going to try to stop you from coming in you've touched me you've touched me i'm going to hit you that's absolutely fine i suppose that's the next stage but then we're going to look at how would you get power in your strike how would you hit the guy quite effectively if he's walking and invading your space? Because we see it a lot. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. When I'm doing this, what I want to essentially do is hit in a way that it's very difficult for him to see. That essentially would, wouldn't be punching his head. If I try to punch his head when he's in my space, when he's in my face, then he's going to see it, react, and probably start to attack me anyway, which was his plan. At the moment, the guy's angry, he's invading my space, he's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in. So I want to be able to strike. So the best place to strike would be the solar plexus, bang. Always hit the solar plexus, so you've got the chest, you've got the ribs. It's this weak spot right here where my fingers are disappearing in. So it's not my uh, abdomen as such, it's literally where your rib cage wires down and starts to wires here. So you're trying to get your knuckles all the way into that. And I always suggest a vertical fist for this because it fits quite nicely into the solar plexus. So when I'm hitting, sorry, so when I'm hitting, I'm hitting with a knuckle, boom, boom into his solar places it hurts it wins him and it makes it really difficult for him to breathe but my three knuckles fit into that nicely now here's the point how do i generate power well the generation of power really comes primarily from the hips as i was saying a i don't want him to see the punch coming in that's why i'm punching the solar plexus b i want to try to stop him as quick as i can that's the reason why i'm punching the solar plexus because it wins him and then the last thing is how do i generate the power for that well, the power generation really comes primarily from the hip. I draw the hip back. So when I draw the hip back, I whip the hip. So if you watch, you'll see that the hip comes back and then goes forward. So the hip comes back and then goes forward. So essentially when I'm striking, the power, bang, comes from the whip of the hip. The hip whips, as the hip whips, I hit nice and powerfully from here, bang, into the solar places. That was the ribs slightly. Sorry, that was Sorry. a bit of a liver okay. shot there. So would have hurt a little bit more on that one. Sorry still about that. You still know. Yeah, it's still <laughs> worse. But the point of what I'm trying to say is, is that when someone's invading your space, you've got to be able to deliver power quite quickly in that small period or that small space. So hopefully that's been some use to you. Think about it. Try it. Best way to try it is maybe not on a person. Not on a person. Uh, yeah. Wall bag. Uh, yeah, like wall bag. Some heavy bag. Anything really. Try to see if you can generate power from a short distance. It'll give you a little bit of confidence when someone's invading your space. Because I guess the point is they invade your space. You hit them, but you try not to run away from them. Thanks for watching.